it's very dangerous. And I say dangerous, not only in a way of like life or death. It's not good. It's not healthy to lose, to lose so much weight so fast. Because if you do, you basically are going to compromise your muscle tissue. If you starve yourself, if you're like, oh, I'm just going to do an hour cardio every single day and starve myself, that's what works for me to lose weight. Guys, if you're shredding or you're building muscle, you have to do it slow and steady. Welcome guys to Build by Nando Coaching and Fitness. Today we're going to be talking about building muscle while losing body fat. Okay, even though I made a similar video about this before, today I'm doing this video pretty similar to what I talked about caloric deficit. Can you be in a caloric deficit and still build muscle, right? So if you haven't watched that video, please go back, watch that video. Um, or finish this video and go watch the other one as well, okay? Um, but this one is gonna be tailored more towards evidence-based, okay? So there's so many things about like research, right? Research says this, this person says that, that professional says this. I'm more about experienced, okay? I'm more that guy who shows you proof, okay? I also am that guy who does what I preach, right? I eat a certain way, I train a certain way so I can look a certain way or perform a certain way, okay? So today I'm going to show you, I did a desk scan, that's basically an ultrasound, kind of like a, like a body scan um, using little light radiation, right? It scans your body, it measures your body fat, your um, bone density, your lean muscle tissue, it separates it by different areas of your body. It's really, really cool. Um, I also have a, a very similar machine here coming to my home here pretty soon, uh, which I'll be providing this very similar service. So if you're um, local here in, I don't know, close to Oakland, California, um, I provide that service here in person, okay? Which helps you understand what your body fat level is and helps you understand what your lean muscle tissues, um, the amount of lean muscle tissues you have. Um, why do we do this again? Why do I do it personally? Well, I like to not only because this video is to show prove that you can shred and also gain muscle, but I do it personally to see my progress. How often should you do this body scan? Um, or any type of scan or any type of measurements, meaning you can use a body fat testing, right? The, the, the caliper testing, you can do the, uh, hydrostatic, the hydrostatic water displacement, you can use a bipod. Um, there's so many different ways you can check your body fat test. Um, I like the scanners. One is quick, simple, easy to do, um, and fast, okay? You're in and out in less than 15 minutes, okay? But again, the reason why I do this is because I like to progressively see what my accomplishments are, right? I like to gain results, not just for me, but for my clients pretty quickly. I like fast results, okay? So if you're out there and you're looking to transform your body either to lose body fat, to get shredded, either for a competition, for yourself, for a wedding or anything, please reach out to me. Um, for coaching, I do online coaching if you're out of state. I also do in-person personal training, consultation, nutrition, training, the whole shabam. If you wanna know more about my services, guys, you can go to builtbynando.com. Email me at builtbynando at gmail.com for any request for service or any questions, okay? Again, the reason why I, uh, I do this is because progressively I wanna see myself progress, right? I want to see myself, you know, continuously progress throughout the weeks. So I do my test every four to six weeks, depending, you know, if I'm doing a show. Um, if I am doing a show, I kind of like to do it every two to four weeks, um, depending on your budget. I, I, I can afford two to four weeks uh, testings. Um, it's just to see if I'm the right track. Am I losing body fat? Okay. 
I know a lot of people say, wow, Fernando, in four weeks, how many, you know, percentage of body fat can you lose? I'll show you guys here in a second. The other one is, um, am I losing too fast that I'm compromising my muscle tissues, right? If you're in a very high deficit, guys, it's very dangerous. And I say dangerous, not in a way of like life or death. It's not good. It's not healthy to lose, to lose so much weight so fast because if you do, you basically are going to compromise your muscle tissue. If you starve yourself, if you're like, oh, I'm just going to do an hour cardio every single day and starve myself, that's what works for me to lose weight. Guys, if you're shredding or you're building muscle, you have to do it slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. We all heard that before, right? So if you're trying to shred, but at the same time you're trying to tone, there's gotta be some sort of sweet spot that your body's okay with. Everybody's different. I can be in a thousand calorie deficit and not lose muscle. While someone else can be in a, a thousand calorie deficit and they'll lose muscle very fast. Everybody's different. That has to do with also genetics. What are you eating? The quality of foods, the quality of your calories, okay? More to that. Now, can you shred and gain muscle? Yes. What I'm gonna show to you guys right here, it's proof of four weeks of me cutting. Tell you a little bit more about my diet. My diet basically consisted of steady protein, right? So I'm about 200 and five, 210 pounds average to, when I started this thing. Um, every scale is different, right? Um, so I kept my protein about a pound per body weight. So I kept mine very easy. I just knew that at 200, um, I was comfortable with it, with my, with my protein. So I eat 200 grams of protein, averaging, you know, um, six meals a day, okay? Uh, guys, every, everybody's different, right? If you're weighing 180 pounds, you want to do 100, grams of protein, you can, or you can go up to 200. If you go a little bit more, it's not gonna hurt you, it's just gonna make you feel fuller. If you go a little bit lower, that's also fine. You gotta be in some sort of range that you also feel good. Some people eat too much protein to feel bloated. Uh, some people eat, they need more protein because it's just their genetics. They need to protect their muscles from, you know, um, catabolism, right? So protein really helps with muscle repair and muscle recovery and all that stuff. So um, I was at 200 calorie, uh, 200 grams of protein a day, and I was averaging about a gram of carbohydrates per body weight to half. So that's what I did for this for this um, four weeks right here. So I was averaging about 100 grams of carbohydrates per day to 200 grams of carbohydrates, and I'll cycle that through like three days of 100 three days or four days of 200. It all depends on how I felt. Sometimes I, I was really feeling foggy. I, was, I did too much of that day. I felt like, like probably a little bit stressed out. So instead of going to reach out for some chips and donuts and other types of carbs, I actually just added more of my rice or sweet potatoes or oatmeal to make sure I rounded up to 200 carbs instead of 100 that day. Um, so I really listened to my body also throughout my four weeks, okay? Fats, I kept my fats pretty close to 50 grams. So I do about 0.25 um, grams uh, per body weight. So this sometimes I kind of keep it just 50, 25 to 50 grams, period. It's one of my favorite numbers. This I usually do this for my clients as well. They're either gonna be in a 25 or gonna be in a 50 depending on how they also feel. If they're going really low on carbohydrates, their fats are probably gonna be a little bit higher, okay? Um, so again, everybody's different. So I'm just giving you guys what I was doing for four weeks. I was doing an average about 20 minutes to 40 minute cardio. I know that's a long range, but that means that today I did 20 minutes, yesterday I did 40 minutes, the other day I did 40 minutes, the other day I did 30 minutes. So I went and averaged whatever I was feeling that I was comfortable, I just knew that I want to be comfortable. Um, meaning if I had the energy to expand, I use, I did 40 minutes of cardio. I split some of them in the mornings, I did 20 minutes, in the afternoon I did another 20 minutes. Sometimes I did 25 minutes, I did 15 minutes after a workout. 
the point is that I average about 20 to 40 minute cardio throughout um, those four weeks. I lifted weights pretty intensively. Um, my volume wasn't so high. I averaged 15, 12, 10 reps, eight reps um, per set. Um, I was focusing on one or two muscle groups per day, uh, probably doing working out six days a week, but and about a day off um, without exercising. So that was kind of like my program, okay? That was just my basic program. I wanted to make sure that I was comfortable on what I was doing and to make sure that that would give me some results. Obviously, I had to weigh myself. I was you know, taking my pictures, progress pictures every single week. So there was process in, a process to, to that through that. So um, here I want to show you guys um, my results. So in August 18, 2020, so you guys can see right now, I weighted at 208.4 pounds. My total body fat was 17.1. And then my fat tissue in pounds was 35 pounds. My lean muscle tissue was 162.2. Okay. Um, if you guys are looking at this right here, this this over this whole paper here, this whole um, uh, report shows you guys kind of what it overall looks like. It gives me like like separations between like what my mass, my total mass or my body fat on each arm, legs, trunk, um, my belly, my back, etc., and the total of it, okay? But let's go ahead and focus up here um, on the percentage uh, of body fat and lean tissue mass, okay? So I wanted to drop weight, right? I wanted to drop not just the weight. I wasn't focused on weight. I was focused on muscle tissue to grow and body fat to drop. Okay. So let's look again here in September 19, 2020, which is exactly about a month later. All right. This is both of them on a Saturday at the same time. I went around noon and a little over noon. I think it was like one o'clock or something like that. And as you can see, my total body fat I lost 3% body fat, okay? In four weeks, I lost 3% body fat. Now look at my total mass. I only dropped one pound, a little bit less, 0.8 pounds on this scale, okay? And then if you look at my lean tissue, I gained 5.2 pounds of muscle in four weeks, okay? So, four weeks, literally, I just showed you proof. In four weeks, I mean, I've been really strict with my diet, okay? Really, really strict with my diet. And one thing I forgot to mention to you guys was also that I did have one cheat meal per week. I, I had in and out in one of those weeks. Um, the other one, I had like um, barbecue ribs with chicken, I mean, everything is just one meal, right? I don't over splur through the whole day. I still have my regular meals. I still worked out that day, excuse me. And, you know, I have my cheat meal, okay? I don't have a cheat day, I have a cheat meal. Now I drank water, I didn't drink soda, I didn't drink alcohol. I didn't overdo it, I didn't have like too many desserts. I just had a cheat meal just to kind of keep me sane, right? Like I need something besides my regular food that I eat. Um, if you guys are asking what type of food that I ate, chicken, tilapia, salmon, lean ground turkey, lean ground beef, or my average protein, eggs, egg whites, um, protein shake, okay? Um, for carbs, I usually average from, this is for this four weeks, not what I'm doing right now, okay? So every single time you try to, to change your diet, you gotta change certain things to make better progress. But for this one, for carbs, I average with sweet potatoes, some pita bread, some tortilla, um, oatmeal, I think I mentioned rice, um, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, red potatoes. So I kind of opened up the, you know, the, the, the variety of carbs, okay? 
um, but no sugary stuff. I, I did some fruits in between that. Um, for fats, I, I had peanut butter. I had almonds, cashews, um, fats in my whole eggs, and then animal fats. Like I would eat a steak, for example, some lean ground beef, and I made a burger out of it, um, guacamole, stuff like that that my wife will make, etc. So that was like kind of like my items of food. I didn't drink alcohol. I didn't um, eat candy or bake foods like donuts and cakes and you know what I'm saying? So I didn't do those stuff. So I really try to only do limited of everything. So everything was measured. Everything that I did was measured. I knew exactly how much, how much carbs and proteins and fats I ate throughout the day um, and how many calories I burned, okay? So again, guys, this video was to show you guys, to prove to you guys that you can lose body fat okay and gain muscle at the same time and for those who are obsessed with weight scale okay in four weeks i only dropped one pound on the scale one okay but that didn't mean nothing only one pound that meant because i actually gained muscle and i lost three percent body fat Okay, 3%, that's like six pounds of fat just lost, just gone out of my body. Okay, I feel great, I feel better. And even though I weigh the same, basically just one pound lighter, I'm leaner, I'm stronger, I am more muscular, and this is all in one month, okay? Can everybody have the same results? No, guys. Okay, this is videos not to tell you, sign up with me as for coaching and you will gain muscle guaranteed and lose fat guaranteed. No, okay, if you sign up for coaching with Built by Nando, with me, with Nando, and you decide to get into a program, it's to get as serious as you can, as strict as you can, follow the program, do it right, and it takes time to adjust what works and what doesn't work for you. Okay, why by doing like body fat scans like this? Again, if you're doing, if you're here locally with me, you can try um, some. Uh, you you can be able to do the scanner with me, um, and I can help you and coach you through through that um, and educate you through that part too. Okay, guys, I offer nutrition. I offer personal training, virtual personal training, online coaching, competitor coaching. Okay, whatever ser service you're looking for, guys. Reach out to me. Don't forget, builtbynando at gmail.com. You can check my services at builtbynando.com um, for more services and details for my services. So I hope this video was helpful, okay? I hope this video helped those who were just doubting yourself about can I still get lean and build muscle? Yes, okay? Even if it's half a pound per month, think about it. That's six pounds per year, okay? And if you're losing 2% per month, that's 24% body fat per year. That means at the end of the year, you can be six pounds more muscle and you can lose 24% body fat at the end of the year. So do you need to make huge transformations right away? No. Does it have to be so fast and, and you have to drop weight so quickly? No, okay? First, you have to learn your body. And understand what works for your body. Stick to one diet. Stick to one program. Adjust slowly. Don't make big adjustments. Do small adjustments. Okay. I made small adjustments for my next one. Okay. Now I'm on my, my next four weeks. I took away a lot of different types of carbs to kind of clean it up a little bit. I increased my cardio to 50, 5 zero minutes. This is consistent. Um, or 500 calorie burn. You're the one that comes first. Um, and then I reduced my protein to a little bit leaner protein, tilapia, um, salmon, sockeye salmon, um, chicken breast, egg whites. That's it. Okay. So I reduced certain items just because I want to now narrow down the possibilities of what works and what doesn't work. Okay. I knew that I can eat a more variety and it still worked, but if I want to lose a little bit more, I want to lose 4% body fat. I'm okay if I gain just one more pound 
of muscle the next month or if I gain more bonus okay but the goal is not to lose the muscle I already attained okay so again guys hopefully this video helped out uh, helped you guys a lot and understand um, you know a little bit more about shredding and gaining muscle at the same time so lean bulking is smart maybe shredding while um, getting muscular is great um, if you guys have more questions reach out to me built by gmail.com please subscribe guys right now just go down below press the subscribe button support this channel i am eager to know more about what you guys want to hear about um, misconceptions about fitness and nutrition and working out just comment below or send me emails i get a lot more emails than i get comments on youtube which is fine this is how i make my videos anyways okay um thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe press the notification button so you can see my next video coming up i appreciate you guys watching until the next video